What's going on? Hashtag Burritos Nation. It's your boy, Jacob, here. And today, we're going to be having a huge unboxing video of a new championship belt. As you can see right here, I have my favorite belt in the whole wide world. My IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship from New Japan Pro Wrestling that was made by Martin Ahmed. That's M-A-T-E-E-N. And then A-H-M-E-D from E-L-T Championship Belts on Facebook. I'll be putting the link down in the comments below because this belt unboxing is going to be the second belt unboxing I've ever done. So when I first, this is the only belt that I've ever gotten that's called a bootleg. But I don't even like using the bootleg word. Like I like using necessarily the term overseas maker. They don't currently make any replicas of the IWGP United States Championship. I know that they do make them of the heavyweight and intercontinental, but they're just not the same as made by um, some of the great guys over in Pakistan, like Martin Ahmed. There's Mayan belts as well, but I've, I've never gotten one from them, though. But Martin Ahmed, he made this beautiful, gorgeous championship belt right here. The belt tip right there. It's absolutely fantastic. Beautiful, soft leather. And anyways, th that's not what this belt is about. Or what this uh, unboxing is about. I can't even talk right now, guys. I'm so excited. I haven't done the belt unboxing in so long. That was literally the last one I did, and it was like this summer, I think. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to show this side so you guys don't stalk me on my address. We got a belt unboxing today. It's special because it's normally he makes these belts uh, four millimeters stacked. This is the IWGP Intercontinental Championship, if you're wondering, if you haven't read the title yet somehow. <laughs> um... But uh, instead of four millimeters thick, I made, I had him make this belt. I spent a little extra, I believe, to make this belt 6.5 millimeters. So I'm very excited about this. I'm going to get all that out of the way. I don't know how I should be taking this off. I don't know which way I should be going with here. All right. I'm going to take off some beautiful tape here, and we're going to get to this. I'm excited. Martin Ahmed, like I said, I'll put his Facebook group in the um, description section below. And yeah, oh, I found the sweet spot. I found the sweet spot of where I should be cutting. Cool. Alright, and I know that he, uh, from from my US boat unboxing I just showed you guys, that him and his crew do, uh, do a lot of bubble wrap on these to keep your belts safe. So, fingers crossed, everything's looking good. And so yeah, let's go ahead and put that up as well. It's a lot of tape on here to keep it intact in the box. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready for this? Because I am ready for this. It's a super heavy belt. This is probably like 10 pounds, just like my IWGP United States belt as well. All right, just make sure I'm not missing anything. Nope, empty. All right, here's the back of it. I'm going to look first. Wow. That's upside down. But yes, man, you guys are going to get a good look at this really fast right here. I'm going to give you just a little flash. I'm going to flash you really fast. Phrasing, Jacob. But yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take off all this. You see how well they bubble wrap this. They make sure to keep your belts very safe. So yes, definitely go guys before I unbox this. Go ahead and go to um, Facebook and go to type in ELT Championship Belts. I'll put the link in the chat as well. Join the Facebook group. Oh my gosh, this is going to be gorgeous. The plates are super thick as well. Oh man, I'm excited for this one. Yes, and ask for Martin Ahmed. He is the guy who makes the belts. So, very excited about this. Let's just go ahead and start ripping away at this. Here... Sorry for the the headphone users if I end up popping the bubble wrap too loud next to you. I'm trying to be very careful here with my knife that I don't mess up my belt. Of course, the Intercontinental Championship. My favorite wrestler, Tetsuya Naito of New Japan Pro Wrestling, has had this belt five times. Oh man, this is going to be awesome. Alright, maybe I can show you guys my process here. I don't want to, I got to slow down though because I don't want to rip anything. It's a lot. I'm just going to do this really slowly here. So I don't want to mess anything up. 
They got a lot of bubble wrap and then they also have a regular like type of wrap here as well. Great. Let's show you guys a little sneak peek here as well. Take this off. You guys are probably saying you're super weak. It's not that I can't just rip it off really fast. I just want to make sure I'm not ruining anything while I'm taking it off. So I'm taking it off really slowly. Got the white backing. I mean the black backing, of course. So take that slowly off. All right. And there we go. Goodbye to that. <sighs> Man, this is going to be fantastic. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he put his stamp on it, which is what I wish he would have done. Done that's the only thing so far that I would do differently. But this belt is going to be absolutely gorgeous. And if you don't know what I mean by a stamp, on my U.S. belt, he put the stamp on there, which has uh, so it says like "Buy Montana Med." So yeah, let's see where's the opening to this? Oh, it's tied. That's why. Okay. So let's go ahead. Do that. I'll make an opening really fast here. All right. Now we can start taking this bad boy out here. Oh man, he did a really good job on the belt tip. I was very, very much, uh, very careful in making sure I asked for that the belt tip right here because I want it to be as accurate as humanly possible. Martino bit. Martino always has great leather work too. Nice, soft, smooth. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're only seven minutes into this video. All right, you guys can see it first. That's upside down, huh? You guys can see it first, and then I will see it. Whew, I got a quick glimpse of it myself, though. The IWGP Intercontinental Championship. Look at that. That is fantastic. Alright, I'm going to get a look at this because I haven't gotten a good look of it yet. <sighs> Baby. The IWGP Intercontinental Championship Belt. That looks pretty cool. Sorry if you guys hear like in the background some uh, talking and stuff on TV. Man, all right, there's the thickness of the plates, pretty darn thick. I do believe it is the 6.5 millimeters thick. Yes, oh man, all right, let's go and go into a little bit of detail into this. We have right here, we have the, the belt tip right here. I'm not completely sure what it actually the backstory of it is. Of this might be a, a former, um like like plate of a different uh version of the belt and that's might be why they did that this is it's accurate to the world championship i promise you that it's just i'm not sure exactly why they chose that when they did it but i think it looks really cool so yeah closer look to that right there very cool this is iwgp a couple guys are wrestling <sighs> man all right we got our side plates right here Pretty cool. Side plates with some different uh, parts of the world. There's the first one right here. It says Intercontinental. We got two red jewels over here. Some really nice etching. Or whatever the word is. <laughs> I don't know the terms. I think etching is the right word. And what's really cool is the, the Globes Pop, which reminds me a lot of the NWA World Championship. It's really cool. You can see. Let's try to get a good look right here. You see the, the globe is higher than the other part of the belt, the rest of the belt. Here's the other globe right here. I'm trying to do this. If you guys don't know my setup right here of how I do this, this is on my phone I'm recording with. And I have it like up against the laptop. <laughs> That's how I prop up my phone. Alright, now the main plate. The IWGP let's see, Intercontinental Champion. There we go. We'll see how many jewels we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten jewels. There is one of them is green. There is two of them are red, and the other seven are clear jewels. Right? Here's the globe. 
on this side as well the ending of the leather right here and uh, right here I do love how they have this on every single one of their um, IWGP belts where whether it's the heavyweight intercontinental or the United States of the singles titles and the junior heavyweight as well I love right here where it says King of Sports New Japan Pro Wrestling making sure it's all spelled correctly King of Sports New Japan Pro Wrestling yep So, trying to get as good of his looks as I can possibly get. And I'll probably do it. Y'all do a close up look. I'm, uh, I'll put it down as well. And then we got the the white right here. Or the black, I mean. The black backing right here. The black backing and the leather covering the screws like a real championship. Just absolutely fantastic. Alright, I'm going to put it over the shoulder. This one's definitely a little lighter, I believe, than my IWGP United States heavyweight belt. But it is absolutely gorgeous. So there it is over the shoulder. That has a good look right there. Right there. That looks good. There we go. Put it over this shoulder. I love it. IWGP Intercontinental Championship belt. Let's, let's look at it with the uh, United States. Yeah. United States Championship and my Intercontinental Championship is my IWGP Uni United States Heavyweight Championship and my IWGP Intercontinental Championship. This one, the United States, is currently held by John Moxley, although he hasn't been able to defend it over a year, almost over a year. It's been about 10 months now, considering because of the pandemic, unfortunately. Um, Tetsuya Naito, who is my favorite wrestler in New Japan Pro Wrestling, he currently holds the IWGP Intercontinental Championship as well as the Heavyweight at the same time. He's going to be defending them, and I think he's probably unfortunately going to be losing them at Wrestle Kingdom this January. But man, that's awesome. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video, and then I'm going to see you guys with a closer up look without me actually in the camera, so you don't have to stare at my ugly mug. Alright guys, I'm going to try to, I got a little bit of flash on because I am in the way with my shadow, so I don't know if that'll be worse or better for the video, but I'm going to be, and it looks pretty cool, so I'm going to be going over more detailed, better, closer look, we have the leather work right here, like I said, the only thing I would have changed, it looks like in this belt, is to have his name right here, it would have been really cool, if you know what I mean, like right here, Martin Ahmed, so Martin, I'm hoping, uh, since you're going to see this video, I'm hoping that you, uh, on my IWGP heavyweight, I love this belt, don't get me wrong, I'm hoping you can put your uh, name on there, that'd be really cool in the heavyweight. There we go, really cool, the toolbox right here, the, or the, the, the snap box, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by two, right here for the male snaps, I think that's male, and then um, female snaps, we got ourselves a uh, 5x2, two, 2x5, two 2x8 two on the other side. Alright, close up look right here. We got ourselves the belt tip. Is a full belt tip, not no uh, gross, you know, half belt tip. We got the close up of the IWGP with the guys wrestling. Very cool. Looking over here at the side plates. Intercontinental. One, two, three, four, five, six jewels. Four of the clears as well as one of the red. Same thing right here. You can see those jewels and all that sparkling now. Very awesome. King of Sports, New Japan Pro Wrestling, the logo. Man, I'm going to show you guys the thickness of this, these plates too. It's really awesome. 6.5 millimeter stick plates. Especially this, the logo, the 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 stack parts are really thick, it looks like. It could be the same, but it just feels really thick to me. Alright, there we go right there again, the intercontinental. Alright, I'm going to try to scoop back here. Show you guys the thickness of these plates. It is slightly um, bigger and more thick plates than the uh, United States one I have. Like I said, that's 4 millimeter, and these are 6.5 millimeter. Very cool. You can see the globes popping off. Very cool. Look how thick those the letters are. 
trying my best, guys. Oh, man, that's a better look. Very cool. I'm digging this a lot. All right. Very cool. I think that about does it for this video, guys. I give this belt a 10 out of 10, just like I would give my IWGP United States Championship belt. Very awesome. I'm loving it. Thank you, Martin. I'm definitely going to be posting this to the Facebook belt group and as well as some pictures. You guys should definitely go to ELT Championship Belts on Facebook and check out Martin's belts and buy some of his belts to support him, especially during the pandemic. It's awesome stuff. This great work. Better than the replicas. They weigh way more. They're not hollow plates. They're thick plates. They're on real leather. It's not... I'm sure you can scroll down and find one of my videos where I compare real wet leather to a stock strap WWE shop stuff. It's not even comparable. I guess, uh, right before I go, I guess I should show the backing. Just soft black backing. Soft backing. Love it. Alright. Anyways, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Because I absolutely love this belt. Anyways, love you guys so much, and I'll see all of y'all burrito lovers Ooh, later. We don't want no ham and cheese. We just want burritos, please. Yeah. Thank you, Martin.